Now, what is the effect of adjusting excitation? Well, obviously, one effect is to adjust the output voltage of the generator. For example, by increasing the excitation current, the generator terminal voltage will increase. But that's not all that happens. As terminal voltage is increased, the generator will produce and transfer more megabars into the power system. On most units, the megabar output of the generator is indicated right alongside the megawatt output. The term megavars stands for megavolt amperes reactive, which is actually the unit of measurement for reactive power. But what is this reactive power? Well, it is a fact of life that all electromechanical devices, such as transformers, motors, electromagnets, and so forth, require megavars in order to set up and maintain their magnetic field. For example, let's look at an electric motor. The shaft on the motor rotates to drive a machine and produce useful work, let's say 100 horsepower. The motor will need to draw about 75 kilowatts in order to produce this power output. But in addition to this, the motor will need to draw about 30 kilobars in order to set up the magnetic field which is needed for the motor to function. So on our power system, we have a demand not only for active power, that is megawatts, but also for reactive power, or megavars, and both of these power components must be supplied by the generators. Fortunately, the provision of megavars does not require any increase in energy input to the turbines. The fact is, reactive power does not absorb any energy at all. The reactive power actually oscillates twice per cycle between the magnetic field of the generators and that of the consumer's equipment. The average power consumed is zero.